Now, dear student, we are going to discuss question number 8.19. And in this question, it is given to you a satellite orbits the earth at a height of 400 kilometer above the surface. Clear? So, uh, let's suppose uh, we can see here. <coughs> yes. Now, it is given to you. Uh, a satellite orbit the earth at a height of 400 kilometer. So, above the earth surface. So, let's suppose we are assuming, let's suppose this is earth. Clear? And let's suppose here we have a satellite. And this satellite is having height h equal to 400 kilometer. Clear? This is given in a question. Clear to everyone? Yes. How much energy must be expended to rocket a satellite out of earth gravitational field? Clear. So, first can we find here total energy of the satellite? Yes or no? Can we find here total energy of satellite? Definitely. How can we find? We can write like this. Total energy. Total energy equal to what? Kinetic energy plus potential energy. Clear? Kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is given by, let's suppose this satellite is having certain velocity. So, I can say this is half of mv square minus gmem. Clear? Small m is the mass of satellite and m is the mass of earth divided by. Now, what is total distance of this satellite from center of earth? So, from center of earth, you can say here we are having this radius that is re and re plus h. So, I can write like this, this is re plus h. Now, you know when this satellite is revolving around earth, at that time its orbital velocity is given by under root of gm upon r. Clear? So, we can also write like this, this is half of m under root of gme divided by r whole square minus clear i can say this is gmem divided by re plus h clear so from here i can write like this half of m g m e upon r minus g m e m upon re plus h clear so from here, uh, actually you will also write here that is R plus H, Re plus H, clear? Why? Because this is orbital velocity and orbital velocity is given by under root of Gm upon R and R is what distance from center of earth to the satellite position, clear? So from here you can write like this, total energy expression, expression of total energy, this is given by G small m capital M e divided by 2 times Re plus H, clear? Re plus H minus G M E M divided by Re plus H, clear? So, from here I can write like this, total energy. Total energy is given by minus G M E M divided by twice of Re plus H, clear? So, this is expression given for total energy. Clear to everyone? Yes. Clear? So, now this is a total energy of this satellite. And let's suppose if I want to send this satellite out of gravitational field. It means I have to provide same amount of positive energy. So, that the total energy of satellite becomes zero. And total energy of satellite becomes zero only at infinity. Or we can say when this satellite goes out of gravitational field. Clear? It means we have to provide, we have to provide total energy to this satellite that is plus G M E M divided by twice R E plus H. Clear? Now our objective is to put here all the values and we will get our answer. Clear? So now concentrate. Yes, concentrate on a screen. Now we can write like this total energy we have G M E M upon twice of R E plus H. So uh, we can say again I am writing G M E M divided by twice. Re plus H. Now you can put all the values. What is value of capital G? Capital G value is given to you 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11. So 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 
मल्टीप्लाई मास ऑफ अर्थ मास ऑफ अर्थ इज गिवन टू यू सिक्स इंटू टेन टू दावर ट्वेंटी फोर मास ऑफ सेटेलाइट वी हैव टू हंड्रेड किलोग्राम क्लियर एंड इट इज डिवाइडेड बाई टू आर ई प्लस एच क्लियर आर ई आर ई इज वॉट दिस इज रेडियस ऑफ अर्थ रेडियस ऑफ अर्थ इज गिवन बाई सिक्स पॉइंट फोर इंटू टेन टू दावर सिक्स प्लस एच एच वैल्यू एच वैल्यू इज गिवन फोर हंड्रेड किलोमीटर सो आई कैन से फोर हंड्रेड इंटू टेन टू दावर थ्री क्लियर टू यू सो फ्रॉम हियर वी कैन राइट लाइक दिस दिस इज सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन मल्टीप्लाई सिक्स इंटू टू मल्टीप्लाई हंड्रेड एंड टेन टू दावर ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी सिक्स एंड आई कैन से दिस इज टेन टू दावर फिफ्टीन क्लियर डिवाइडेड बाई नाउ लिसन केयरफुली हियर वी हैव वैल्यू दैट इज यू कैन से दिस इज फोर इंटू टेन टू दावर फाइव क्लियर एंड हियर वी आर हैविंग सिक्सटी फोर इंटू टेन टू दावर सिक्स क्लियर और वी कैन से सिक्सटी फोर इंटू टेन टू दावर फाइव so we can take here 2 into 10 to the power 5 common clear clear so we can write like this this is 64 plus i can say that is 4 clear so from here you can see this one we are getting 10 to the power 10 clear i am saying this 2 and 2 is also cancelled out clear so now the rest calculation we are doing here uh i think you are getting all my points definitely you can see here calculations are uh, a little bit lengthy uh, and definitely because this is a gravitational chapter so definitely you will find here calculation lengthy one clear so now you can see here now we can say total energy total energy this is given by uh, 6.67 multiply 6 multiply 10 to the power 10 divided by clear i can say this is 68 clear now listen carefully uh if you remove this decimal you can say that is 100 clear or you can also write like this this is 66.7 multiply 6 into 10 to the power 9 and divided by 68 clear now 66.7 approximately i am taking 67 and i can say let's suppose if we cancel out clear definitely this value will not come out to be perfectly one it will be something 0.9 something clear so at the time we will find here total energy that is given let's suppose 5.67 or that is 10 to the power 9 joule clear to everyone it means if we provide if we provide this type uh, if we provide this much amount of energy to this satellite at the time this satellite will leave the gravitational field of earth clear so this is all about this question